Many of We've been here for 46 years. At least once a year we get a storm that comes through, a, a, a big storm. And uh, this, this was probably one of the, one of the biggest and the, and the worst as far as, as far as floodings. In Boardman, the fire department blocked off Squirrel Hill Court after a car stalled out and was stuck in the water. Our street floods, our backyards flood, we're kind of at the bottom of the hill. Carol Klingle has lived in the same house since 1975 and has problems with her basement flooding when there's a heavy rain. I've been paid once by FEMA. Uh, I've, had, I've gone to numerous township meetings and they tell me with the water, new water district that they have, if I put some dirt back by the trees, it'll keep the water away. Well, it will never keep the water away. Klingle is 81 years old and worries she won't be able to sell her house. Last year, $8,000 for the basement was repaired in the basement to, to take out walls and everything. I'm getting too old for this. I've been complaining about this almost since I've lived here. Just a few miles over at Tippecanoe and 224, one truck braved the high water and made it through. But on Lake Park Road and Talia Avenue, another car was not so lucky. This is what the Boardman Plaza looked like. The entire parking lot was flooded out. In Struthers, one couple says flooding is a reoccurring problem for them, too. You can see in this video they shared with us their driveway looks like a rushing creek. Financially, is enormous. Washer and dryer, fans, dehumidifiers, our decorations. I mean, then there's the things that we've saved, the mementos we lose. We don't, we can't save anything anymore because our, it affects our basement, our foundation, our driveway, our sidewalks, our mulch, everything. Our city needs to take care of the issue. They need to stop worrying about building new town halls and start worrying about the people that pay the taxes and the people that live here. It's not every hundred years like they try to say that it's a act of God. This is act of negligence from our city. In Youngstown's Brownlee Woods neighborhood, the force of the water was so strong it lifted a roll cart trash can and carried it across the street. Desiree Gosselin, WKBN 27 First News.